This video was made possible by Good Better Best Tuition Services. Please subscribe to this channel for the latest videos. Today we are going to be discussing Law 3 and Law 4 of Exponents. Law 3 deals with raising a power to a power. In other words, if we have a to the power m inside the bracket to the power n outside the bracket, we would say that that is a to the power m times n. In other words, if I have 3 to the power 2 to the power 2, I would need to write that out as 3 to the power 2 times 2, which is 3 to the power 4. And we know that 3 to the power 4 is 81. Now let's look at law 4 before we look at more complex examples which combine law 3 and law 4. Law 4 deals with raising a product to a power. In other words, if I have AB to the power M, I would then need to raise A to the power M as well as B to the power M. So when we have 3 times 2 to the power 3 on the outside of the bracket, well we need to distribute that 3, so it will be 3 to the power 3 times 2 to the power 3. That will give us 27 multiplied by 8, which is 216. Let's look at more complex examples. When we look at 3x squared to the power 3, what we need to do now is apply law 3 and law 4. Now 3 has an invisible power of 1 and we need to multiply that 1 by the exponent on the outside of the bracket. So 1 times 3 will give me 3. That will be 3 to the power 3. And we've got x to the power 2 times 3 and 2 times 3 is 6. 3 to the power 3 is 27 and that will give us 27 x to the power 6. Let's look at the following sum. 2x cubed y cubed to the power 2 times 5x squared to the power 3. So what we need to do is distribute this 2 into the bracket and we need to distribute that 3 into the bracket. So 2 has its own exponent of 1 and so we need to say 1 times 2, x to the power 3 times 2 and y to the power 3 times 2. Here we've got 5 to the power 3 so we say 5 to the power 1 times 3 and x to the power 2 times 3. Now the question you are going to ask me is, is this step necessary? No, it isn't necessary. What I've done is I've put this step in to help you so that when I do the next step you'll understand where it comes from but this step as it is is not necessary. So this would be your next line 2 to the power 2 x to the power 6 y to the power 6 times 5 to the power 3 x to the power 6 and what we do now is we need to simplify 2 to the power 2 is 4 and 5 to the power 3 is 125. 4 times 125 is 500. x to the power 6 times x to the power 6. We need to add the exponents, so that will be x to the power 12. And the y to the power 6 remains unchanged. Thank you for watching with us. And then, if you need tuition in Maths, English, Afrikaans, Accounting, or Physics, we are based in Lotus River, Cape Town, and we can help. Contact me on the number on the screen for more information. We hope to see you again soon.